Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here. We've got a, another Ask PYS from Richard. Richard's from Maryland and he's got a Catalina 36. Uh, I also have a Catalina 36. This happens to be in 1989, mine is in 1990. So, lovely boat by the way. Not that I'm biased. Um, so this uh, boater is asking, Jeff, I'm changing my alternator from a 50 amp alternator to a 105 amp alternator. How will this affect my AGM batteries? Oh, great question. Well, first of all, your alternator, charge, changing the size of an alternator can affect really the speed at which you're going to recharge your batteries, but it's not really going to change the charging profile. So an alternator, um, most alternators are going to have what are called an internal regulator and they're going to output 14.4 volts. Okay, so you've got 14.4 volts and that's not necessarily what your AGM battery wants. So if you want to worry about your AGM batteries, what you end up doing is getting what's called an external regulator. You basically make your alternator smart and then you can actually dial it in and say, I want you to charge an AGM profile, Firefly profile, gel profile, lithium profile, whatever it is, but then you can start tweaking it. If you don't have an external regulator, you can't do any of that and you're just getting vanilla. 14.4 volts on a 12 volt alternator, period. And that's, what it's, and that's what our cars are doing. That's why when you, we start our cars, we look at the nominal voltage is around 14. That's because we're actually measuring the output of the alternator. We're not actually measuring the battery, we're measuring the output of the alternator. So by changing from a 50 amp to 100 amp alternator, it's not so much that it's gonna affect your AGM batteries, right? Mind you, AGM have a higher charge acceptance rate, which is called CAR. Uh, so they're gonna be able to take a better, faster charge than a flooded lead acid battery bank. But the key is, now, here's the things I would work, look for. A is my wire size gonna be able to handle now 100 amps coming from my alternator, right? That's the first thing. Because remember, most of us have the alternator connected directly to the starter solenoid post. So there's a little wire, it's probably two feet, three feet, four feet, and the, that positive post on the alternator is just connected to the starter solenoid. But if that wire is made for handling a 50 amp alternator, I can guarantee you that the engine manufacturer never, ever oversized that wire. They chose that wire exactly for that 50 amp alternator. So when you choose your alternator, you go from 50 to 100, that wire now is half the size it should be. So make sure that that wire can handle the 100 amps. And if you're worried about the AGM batteries having the right charge, then the way to do that would be by installing an external regulator that you can customize or chain or choose a charge profile and that will give your AGM batteries exactly what they need from the alternator. Effectively transforming your alternator into a smart battery charger that is powered from your engine and not shore power. So that was a great question Richard and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.